measles. An outbreak of measles is hitting parts of the Pacific Northwest. And tonight, public health officials are concerned that it could make its way to Arizona at any moment. Team 12's Jessica DeNova is live in the 12 News Alert Center with the reason behind this latest outbreak. Jessica? Guys, it really is simple. Public health officials say people just aren't getting vaccinated, and that puts us at greater risk for an outbreak, even here in the Valley. A little sting can mean the difference between life and death when it comes to measles. The dangerous disease was actually eliminated in the U.S. thanks to vaccinations back in the year 2000. This valley mom was once at ease. We were not supposed to be worried about. But unimmunized travelers have brought it back, and as the Arizona Department of Health Services director explains, it is highly contagious. All you need to do is walk into a room where a measles case has been and breathe the air. 90% of unimmunized people will come down with measles if exposed. The latest example of this taking place in the Pacific Northwest, where the Centers for Disease Control has 52 confirmed cases. That worries me. Public health officials here in Arizona are concerned too. What we are seeing statewide is a dangerous in decrease in the number of people who are being immunized. When that number drops below 95%, we lose what's called herd immunity. There just aren't enough people vaccinated to keep an outbreak from happening. And take a look at Maricopa County coming in at 93.1%. That puts hundreds of kindergartners at risk for measles here in the valley. To be conscious about what's happening in the country right now. It's not fair for some kids to get sick because some parents, they don't want to vaccinate their children. So we need to be responsible for our children and for the other children. Valley schools do keep track of unvaccinated students. If there's even one case of measles in a school, health experts say the rest of the unvaccinated students would be forced to miss at least three weeks of classes. Live in the Alert Center, Jessica Danova, 12 News. Okay, Jessica.